Hey everybody, welcome back to Ravenhawk Coins, and today we are going to do Nick a date date restoration for slick or dateless buffaloes. We've already got one buffalo nickel started, this one right here, and what I do and I've seen other people do is you want to put a little bit on the tip of a Q-tip, or not a Q-tip, a toothpick, and then put it in the area that you want to use, of course, to restore the date. Uh, the reason why Nick a date is used is because a lot of buffalo nickels have worn out dates. Um, the nickel that they used was a softer blend and so this is the way we figure out how to get those dates. Now technically this damages the coin um, but at the same time if you pull a key date um, it might be worth it because you can still pull some value from it. So we're going to go through the eight of these and see what we find and in one of them I will probably just show you guys how I do it you know, from the beginning to the end, uh, um, as far as, you know, putting a drop on it, putting it on the nickel, and then uh, waiting to see what happens. So we are going to get into this. We'll be back. Ravenhawk Coins, stay tuned. Hey, everybody, welcome back to Ravenhawk Coins. So what I want to show you is what happens um, in the process. As you can see here, here's one that hasn't been hit with nickel date. It's completely smooth. This was the nickel that we had just a minute ago. Um with the nicodate and you can see where you put the nicodate on that it changes the color of the metal uh, looks like I'm gonna have to repeat it on this one to see if we can get the date so far it's looking like it's somewhere in the 30s um, so we're gonna give this one another shot and let you know what we find Raven hot coins stay tuned Hey everybody, welcome back to Ravenhawk Coin. So in this part, guys, I'm going to show you what I do with the toothpick to make sure that we get it just enough on the toothpick to put it on the spot to reveal the date. You have the other one next to us working on the date, and you want to just make sure you cover the area that would be the date so that you do less damage to the coin. And then uh, we see what happens. So we'll be back in just a little bit, but that's a good tip on how to do this. Ravenhawk Coins, stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to Ravenhawk Coins. And here you see we have some of them being prepared with the Nick date. And uh, we did get a couple dates already, some really nice ones. We're gonna show these all at once. So we'll be back in a little bit and I'll give you a couple extra tips on what to do uh, when doing Nick date. Raven Hot Coins, stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to Raven Hot Coins. And guys, we have gotten through the experiment of the Nicodate, and I am really surprised at the age of these. Um, I really, really am kind of surprised, like, like I said, and it's hard to see it probably on the camera. But this one here is a 1916. It was so worn out that it was hard to get that 16, and I can see it under the jeweler's loop, but in the camera, it's almost impossible. Uh, this one was another 1916. Let me double check here real quick. Yes, 1916. And this one had a San Francisco mint mark. So this was a, a mintage of 11 million, and a G4 would be worth about $10. With the Nick date, not quite sure, but really cool to find it still. And then we got another 1916. You can see this really came out well on the Nick date. And this is a Philly. Uh, the Philly is a much more common. 63 million of those bad boys made. And then the next one that came up was a 1917. And you can catch it right there. This is a Philly. And... Uh, too bad it's not a Denver or San Francisco, but still nice to get it. Then we got two 1919s. Uh, this one here is a Philly. I think they're both Philly, actually. But you can see the date can't come through. And so I would say overall that this Nika date works really, really well. This one is a 1920. Uh, I'm not sure if it has a mint mark. Nope, it's a Philly. And last but not least was this 1927, and you can catch it in the camera. So if you want to know what you have when you're collecting buffaloes and you get these slick, dateless ones, 
it's easy to do. Get yourself a bottle of Nicodate and uh, you'll find some cool stuff. So hope that helped you guys. Um, oh, some of the tips. You want to make sure to keep a tissue around um, using a toothpick. This toothpick works really, really well and use it sparingly. A little bit of Nicodate goes a long, long way, guys. Uh, one drop actually can do a couple nickels. If you do it the right way, you just kind of use the toothpick to spread it over to the next nickel. Um, and uh, it's a fun thing to do. It's cool to see what you have. So, guys, if you want to correspond, it's RavenHotCoins at gmail.com. Our PO box is 721296. That's 721296, Norman, Oklahoma, 73070. Make sure to take care of one another. Raven Hot Coins. Have a great day.